We've had other Razorbacks in here already. Can you tell us about the spring and the number of new faces on the roster? How's that working out? Uh, just me sitting down watching the spring. Um, I think I think it went pretty well, you know, for just watching those younger guys get out there and compete the way they competed. Uh, it really shocked me without, like, me being there as, as a leader. You know, they took big strides and big steps, and you know, I really, I'm really anxious to see, you know, what, what all I'm going to do in fall camp. Is it up to you and others like you to teach the culture and get them going fast? Yeah, it's up, it's up to us. You know, we want to have a player-led team, and that's really what we've been emphasizing, you know, since we got back after this past season, is leading this, uh, leading this team as players. Um, you know, we feel like if we want to go places where we want to go, you know, the players need to lead besides just the coaches. Okay, we have a question here on the right. Over here, it's good. Uh, Chad was saying he wants to name a quarterback as soon as possible. Is it, even as a defensive player, is it important to have somebody to rally around? Yeah, we've been talking about that, you know, as I, in our um, senior leadership councils. Uh, we, we need a quarterback, you know, basically by week one. And, you know, when we do name a starting quarterback, I mean, if he is his job, you know, up to lose his job, you know, just give him a chance, you know, but we do need a leader to be at that quarterback position. Okay, right here, <clears throat> right in front of you. Scooter, if you could just kind of touch on that time that you were out nursing that injury, what did you take away from that in terms of just being able to watch the game from that vantage point that you can take with you moving forward? Um, me just, me just being out, man. It just, it made me sit back and just realize how, how much like the passion I have for the game and um, just the effect that I have like on the younger guys, just how much like they watch and look up to me and like how much that I could teach those younger guys and help better them. Over to your right, behind the cameras. Scooter, what's the biggest difference between Brett Bielema at Arkansas and Chad Morris at Arkansas? Uh, well, when Coach B was here, he just had his, his coaching staff was different from, you know, Coach, Coach Morris, coaching staff, I think. Coach B's staff was more, before he left, was, was more about, you know, teaching us how, um, how to do things, you know, certain ways. And, you know, Coach Morris was on about, on the run, you know, how I guess they do it at the next level. Um, you know, they'll teach us and then we go out there and try to, you know, go over it on the field. So different teaching ways, but it was pretty similar to me though. Right here in the middle, camera. After a, after a two and 10 season last year, you know, I have to ask, uh, are, are, is there a chip on your shoulder? Are people sleeping on Arkansas right now in your opinion? Yeah, I feel like it's always going to be a chip, especially coming off a two and ten season. Um, we way talented than you know what our record shows. You know, like I said, we just we just gonna keep you know keep our head down and ground right now. You know, and when it's time for the season to come, you know, show everybody you know how much better we got in week in year two than year one. Okay, to your right against the wall, Michael Bram from Saturday Down South. Obviously, last year didn't go your way. This year, this off season. Is there a renewed sense of buy-in from the locker room, just the off-season conditioning? Yeah, I feel like, you know, uh, as seniors, you know, we held you know, the majority of the team accountable. Um, that's really what it was last year. You know, there's no accountability on the team. You know, I feel like everybody, you know, understand their role now they have on the team. And, uh, you know, we, we bought into, you know, what Coach Morris and what Coach True, you know, been emphasizing all, all off-season. So, like I said, though, we just ready to put all the pieces together now. Okay, over here to your left. Yeah, you're surrounded by a lot of young linebackers. Uh, talk about your maturation, and I can't imagine a young player playing in the SEC, especially at linebacker. How much better do you see the game, and uh, what are they going through now trying to you know, get up to that learning curve? Yeah, I, mean, I, I, feel, I fell for Bumper last year. I, Bumper played earlier than what I did my freshman year. So, um, you know, just being out there as a freshman, you really don't understand what's going on, and you won't understand it until you actually play in the majority of the games and get the experience. You know, but now I feel like, you know, Bumper will be fine on side me or any other linebacker, really. Again, to your right, please. Scuda, in addition to that, um, 52 freshmen on the roster this year, 28 sophomores. It's a very young team for the second straight season. Do you anticipate any growing pains and especially getting those freshmen their first SEC experience in week two at Ole Miss? Yeah, I mean, I feel like we'll have growing pain regardless of the fact who we have on the roster just by, you know, us bringing in the new faces at, at all type of positions on the offensive side. So, uh, and I think the freshmen will be fine. They got four games, you know, before you get a chance to race shirt. You know, they help build on their experience. So, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, what they'll do. Okay, right here, we can camera back. Well, last year it was tough for us because we was basically on a go with everything. Um, 
I mean, yeah, trust factor and accountability played into it, you know, but now I think, you know, everybody, like I said, we understand, you know, what's going on and we just got a bigger purpose into now and everybody's bought in. Again, here on your left. Uh, I know it's early, but any freshmen that give you kind of the wow factor that you've watched them and said, whoa, he's hard to believe this guy's 17, 18 years old? Uh, I think one of the guys on the defensive side was, was uh, solely at defensive end. Uh, just when I think he was going through some drills, and I was like, we didn't know how athletic solely was. You know, he, do, he, do, he got some things, you know, that most upperclassmen don't have. So we really feel like, you know, solely have a big camp, you know, he'll be in our too deep and he'll do something special for us. Uh, I know Gray Brooks. While some people, you know, I knew Gray from home, but, you know, Gray Brooks took over that start nickel role for us, and he wild some people. And, I mean, like I said, Trey Knox on the opposite side of the ball, you know, wild does that the receiver. Again, to your right, in the back, behind the cameras. It's good. Any difference in the, the discipline with Coach Morris than what it was before when, when you got to Arkansas? Uh, I think well, I can speak on the discipline from this year and last year. It's, it's a big difference. Um, you know, more, most guys not getting in trouble. Like last year, uh, you know, we just been holding each other accountable. So, you know, less off the field, you know, issues, it would be better for us on the field. Right here in your front to your left. There's been a lot of talk in the media about uh, college players potentially profiting off their name, image, and likeness. How do you feel about it? And is that something that you and your teammates talk about? I mean, I think everybody talk about it. We even talk about it in the classroom, but it's not really much that we could do about it. So it's not nothing that we are really stress over. To your right, third row. Uh, Scooter, back to the freshman. Uh, you're a Louisiana guy. Uh, Devin Bush is a really highly touted defensive player out of Louisiana. What do you see from him, and uh, what kind of talent pool is Chad Morris pulling from down there? Well, Coach Morris did a terrific job, you know, just bringing in all these freshmen. Uh, they're very talented. Uh, Devin Bush come from a, a great background in high school at Nacar there. So, you know, him, you know, getting in at this level really wasn't as difficult as for him. It's just going to be difficult for, the, you know, the change of speed and the experience once he get out there. You know, he's been handling it fine so far, but it's a big difference going against somebody else than your own teammates. And on your right? I don't think there's a coordinator in the SEC that's got more experience than Coach Chavis. So what's it like uh, working under Chief? Well, Chief more laid back now. Uh, you know, most of us joke around and be like, we wish, you know, we could get coached around Chief, you know, in his prime because we watch some of his older tape, you know. But, you know, he's still, he's still a high-energy guy. He's just more laid back and more teaching now. I don't really like the transfer portal. I feel like everybody should have to sit back and, and, and earn a spot like everybody else in college football. And I feel like uh, highly recruited guys who hit the transfer portal always wind up being eligible at another school. And guys at smaller schools have to sit out. So I don't really like the transfer portal. OK, again here. All right, you're the SEC's leading tackler. You did get all the preseason love. Uh, I, I know it's a team game, but as an individual, how, how important is it to you to be regarded as maybe an elite linebacker in the SEC? I mean, yeah, uh, you know, if I don't get it, I use it as motivation. Um, but right now, as being a senior, like my goal is, is to make sure I'm at my best of my play, you know, when the season gets here and make sure, you know, I'm doing the right things to lead this team in the right direction. Okay, third one. Yes, sir. Speak about that chance to possibly bring this program back to a bowl. What would that mean to you? It means a lot. Like, like I said, I haven't been to a bowl game since my freshman year, and I actually haven't played in a bowl game, you know, legitimate snaps besides special teams. So, yeah, it means a lot just, you know, just getting this program back, you know, bowling and actually winning a bowl game this year. Well, my freshman year, I was there with majority of guys. They was about two or three years older than me. So uh, talent-wise, it was kind of similar. I feel like now, though, when you got these all these talented younger freshmen, 52 of them, you know, you never know how many of them that be, you know, real elite or great. So probably in the future right now, if they stay on the path they are and keep getting better, they'll be as talented as the class I got here uh, my freshman year. Do we have anything else? Thanks very much. Good job.